This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Fundamentals class. I'm on course D, Lesson 6, Loops in Ice Age, Part 12. Get the acorn any way you can. Workspace, 1 to infinity. Oh my goodness, we can use infinity? Okay, so it looks like the acorn's way up here. Does something scary happen? I'm going to try using a loop, a repeat block. I'm going to say 4. I'm worried that this ice is going to disappear on us. Let's test. Oh, oh, it didn't. Okay, well then I'm going to say move forward five, and then inside my repeat, I can also do a turn. So I'm going to say turn left, because I should turn left, go forward five more, turn left one more time, but then I'll have the acorn. Let's see. No, oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I did not... Ah, I did not plan this right. Let's do a five. I could do a loop inside of a loop, but we'll keep it simple. Turn left, repeat, five, move forward. Let's see if that will get it. Ta-da! And we got it. Awesome. So that's what worked for me. Loops are really handy in code. And remember, they always run the code beneath them after they get done repeating however many times you would like. You can also have more than one block in here, but we didn't need that yet. You'll see what I mean. You can have a bunch of lines of code in the repeat. Um, I'm excited to keep going.